Hello and welcome back to Late Nights with Raj. We're here with Sydney Monsoon, famous Chinese film producer. Now, Sydney, your um, movies are doing great worldwide, especially the Kung Fu movies. And um, what a lot of us don't know is that you used to be an educational filmmaker. <sighs> yes, a long, long time ago, for the government in the 50s. Chairman Mao called on me to educate the children and young adults about sex and how to help increase our population. Well, um, congratulations. That seemed to work really well. Um, and we have an English version of um, your educational video that we'd like to play. The Sydney Monsoon educational film, Making Children for China. Hello comrades, we're here today to talk about how to make babies. How to make babies? We have slept together on the same bed for two years, but I still don't have baby in my belly. What's wrong with us? You've come to the right place. Let me explain. Every woman has a vagina. And every man has a penis. Now, six is when the man inserts his penis into the woman's vagina. This can be done in many different ways, depending on what is desired by the male or the female. That looks disgusting. But when it is done right, the man ejaculates his sperm into the woman's stomach, thus creating the baby. Mm. Besides babies, why do people make sex? I'm glad you asked. There are three reasons why. First, for your health. Sex is important for your health. Having sex regularly improves your fitness. Before I had sex, I had looked like this. Now, I have sex seven times a day, and I look like this. It's also important to be safe with sex. So let's talk about condoms. Condoms were invented by ancient white people to have sex without having children. How does that work? When the penis is erect, the condom goes around it, stopping the sperm from doing what it needs to do. Why would they want to do that? That's because white children are useless. They can't do minimum wage labor or do complicated accountant work like Chinese children can. Ah. Now, it may seem that a condom is an effective way to not have children, but it is proven that you are risking a lot if you use a condom. What risks? There has been studies made on the use of condoms and how it links to diseases such as influenza, diabetes, leprosy, and even cancer. I hope you have learned all the risks associated with unsafe sex, so no, Never to use a condom. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's quite a quite a motivational video. <laughs> Do you feel your work has made a a deep impact? Well, whenever I see and go to China and see how crowded it is with all the people, and how busy and how you have to wait in line for everything. It makes me so proud that my work was able to create that. I see. Well, in the video you say there's three reasons to have sex. Let's see how sex helps your family. Second, for your family. Now, let's talk about how having sex is good for our families. I don't make many money, but is it a bad idea to make many babies? Think of it as a long-term investment. <coughs> what do you mean? Well, a baby is quite useless and costs a lot of money in the first two to three years. But when that baby turns four, it can be useful around the house. Four-year-old Chinese babies are good for taxes, doing household chores, minimum wage work, and four, convoy of your home invader. Uh -huh. 
Well, when you look at it that way, it makes me want to have 12 kids. <laughs> well, you better get started soon. But remember, your baby is not just your baby, it's our country's baby. Third, for your country. Our country is at war right now, defending communism against democracy from the US and Britain. And if they drop the nuclear bomb on us, they could destroy a million of us. So for every million they destroy, we have to make three million. So for our national security, we have to make babies. <laughs> Children are our future, and the future depends on you. Yes, Thank you for everything. Okay, you're welcome. I hope you learned all about sex you need to know. I'm Sydney Masu, and thank you for learning about sex with me.